The creeks around Bodo village in the Niger Delta run thick with oil from an old shell pipeline. Like thousands of other villagers, Pastor Christian Lekoya Kapande used to rely on the Delta for his livelihood. His fish farm was destroyed by two major spills. The shell have been here over 50 years. There is no infrastructure from them. But in 2008 and 2009, there was two massive oil speed which destroyed the life, livelihood of Bodo people. Bodo people are fishermen and farmers. Oil leaked into Bodo Creek from the Trans-Niger pipeline for several weeks in 2008 until Shell repaired it. Shell blames those and later spills on locals tapping the pipeline to steal oil. Bodo is one of four sites investigated in the joint report from Amnesty International and a Nigerian NGO, the Centre for Environment, Human Rights and Development. We saw streams that are still polluted, we saw oil sheen on the surface of water, we, we saw crude oil clearly visible in the environment. Kamara says the local communities are devastated. They breathe contaminated air. They, they, they plant in, in, in polluted soil and they harvest polluted crops. And as a result, they can't feed their, their, their children with healthy food. The United Nations Environment Programme exposed widespread oil pollution in the Ogoniland region of the Delta in 2011, describing it as an urgent public health risk. In response to Amnesty's report, a Shell spokesperson said Shell Petroleum Development Corporation is committed to cleaning up all spills from its facilities, irrespective of cause. The statement adds it is crucial to put an end to the widespread theft and illegal refining of crude oil. Amnesty wants more details on Shell's clean-up operations. They should firstly produce the, a report, a comprehensive report that shows who cleaned, when it was cleaned, how it was cleaned, so that people can know. Amnesty released its report ahead of the 20th anniversary of the execution of Ken Sarawiwa, who campaigned against the damage caused by the oil industry in the Niger Delta. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London. Look at how crude oil just coming out of the water here.